Good evening, Belmont sports fans. The Marauders girls team this evening will be taking on the Winchester Sachems here at Wedner Fieldhouse. I'm Chet Messer, and our production manager is Jeremy McZerve, and we're looking forward to bringing you a season full of basketball as the two Marauder teams, the boys and the girls teams, are underway. The girls' team is one and one. They lost their opener to Lexington, and then in a double overtime, uh, defeated Wilmington on uh, last Tuesday, Wednesday night. Should have been Tuesday, but it, they got snowed out, and they were postponed to Wednesday. Winchester is also a has a one and one record uh, so far this season. One thing I would like to point out at the, uh, the top of the broadcast is that um, Sam. The, the coach for the Sachems this year, first year coach, is uh, Sam Mosley. And Sam is a Belmont High School Hall of Fame member. She played on the 2005 uh, Belmont High School team and scored the most three points, scores the most three point uh, goals. So we're underway. McDevitt taps it to Menacosi ahead to <clears throat> Christopher who lays it in. Belmont leads two zip. Belmont pressing. Ball brought up on the right hand side by number 41, Pagan. Caught underneath by number 13, Deegan. Ties the ball game. Abby Moran puts up a three pointer. It's no good. The rebound underneath the Minicosi who puts it up. No good. Rebound. Is by McDevitt. Drive to the hoop by Morin. Back out to Cristofori. Cristofori drives left, drops it off to him. Back underneath. To <coughs> Rebound by the, one of the shortest players on the court was stolen back by Winchester. Drive to the hoop, goes to the corner. Back outside. Setting up their offense, totally across court. Number 41, Ryan throws the ball out of bounds. Belmont ball. I've uh, seen the first two games of the, of the Belmont on videotape. Uh, and they've been very, comp they were very competitive in the Lexington game. It's just they never could seem to get going. Minicosi, who scored 34 points uh, in their, sec their game the other night against Wilmington, and Christopher goes up for a hoop and is fouled. I'm going to believe it's on 41. It is Ryan. On Winchester's number 41, that's Regan Pagan. Her first personal foul. First team foul. First personal foul on her and the first on the uh, Sachems. Christophori for two shots, makes the first. <laughs> McDevitt is uh, going to be a force once she starts to uh, get a little more experience uh, under the hoop for the Marauders. By the way, if uh, someone's interested in helping out on these broadcasts, we're looking for a cameraman and we're looking for people who would like to otherwise help. Martin brings the ball up, goes up to McDevitt, who puts it up. She's fouled, not fouled, but the <laughs> follow up by Manicosi is good for Belmont. They lead 6 2. And they continue to press. The 34, the ball goes on the fort and it's stolen by Martin, but there's a jump ball. I'm, I'm sorry, yes, it was Martin, number 12. And it is Winchester's ball. No more jump balls in uh, basketball. Alternating possessions when jump balls are called. This is a jump uh, up and no good, rebound. Is Grabbed by number 13, Dignan, and put back on the hoop in a Russell match with uh, McDevitt. Underneath, she drives, and she, she was 
Puts it up again, puts it up again, and good battle underneath by McDevitt. So Belmont's up 8-4. Uh, Belmont continues to press. They finally get the ball over half court. Turns around and a good, good block by McDevitt. It's a jump ball, Belmont gets the ball. McDevitt was right on top of the ball. Minikazi drives to the hoop, gets it off to Martin. Martin stops, goes around, out to Morin. Back to Martin, he puts it up, no good. McDevitt with the rebound, grabbed by Martin. Back inside, but <clears throat> McDevitt wasn't ready for the ball. And we have a, a double dribble by number 41, Pagan. Winchester substitution, number 23, Colleen Gogolin. Number 23, Gogolin has replaced uh, Pagan. Devitt in the corner, back out to Minakazi. In, in the corner, a three-pointer by Martin. Martin's also a very good, whoops. A Christopher Ream tried to grab the, get the ball and uh, plowed into a Winchester player. Christopher's first foul, first team foul for Belmont. Ball was passed in and goes out of bounds. No, nope. apparently went off McDevitt. Winchester will get the ball under their own basket. Pass over to number 34, McCurl. And the ball is stolen and ahead to Cristofori. Now to, oh, good try by, uh, <clears throat> and we have a travel on Winchester. That was Minicozzi that went to the hoop and just didn't get it high enough above the basket. And we have a substitution. Emma Donahue replaces Emma McDevitt. Outside to Minicozzi. Minicozzi now but a Martin. Martin is fouled by number 14, using her body to push Martin, and it'll be Beaumont's ball. Just a foul number 14, Mia Day. Her first personal foul. Fouls on Mia Two Day. Team fouls. Two team fouls on Winchester. Manicozzi putting will be putting the ball into play, gets it in to Morin. Ahead to Christofori, puts it up, and it's no good. Rebound by Winchester. Good play by Minicozzi. She gets it to, now we have a jump ball, and this time it will be a Winchester ball on the exchange. As I indicated earlier, no jump balls anymore in basketball, except for the opening tap. Minakazi guiding number 44, Ryan. Drive to the hoop, it puts it up and it's no good. A rebound by Minakazi. Minakazi up the middle of the court, across to Martin. Martin to Minakazi. Minakazi drives to the hoop. Gets it underneath to Martin. Martin puts it up and she's fouled. It's likely to be on Ryan. No. We just have foul on number 44, Isabella Ryan. Her it was. It was on Ryan. Ryan's a sophomore. At the line, Bridget Martin. Two shots. Bridget Martin is getting two shots, makes the first. Abby Morin is replaced by Mag Magdanelli. Magdanelli. Oh, bounces around. Good block out by the Winchester team. They get the rebound. Ball's tipped. 
by Minakazi. Minakazi plays very good defense, moves her feet constantly. Magnelli up, and the ball is passed down the court into the corner. Underneath. Good defense. Preventing a three point a shot attempt. And there's only two seconds left, and there's a shot, and it's no good. The ball didn't hit the rim, so Belmont gets the ball out of bounds. They have 30 seconds to shoot in high school basketball, both girls and boys. Christofori with the ball. That's up court. Going to be given her, and drives in and puts it in the hoop. Good drive by Christofori. Whole length of the court, nobody picked her up. There's another, there's an attempt by Belmont. And number 13, Degnan makes the hoop. I think she has six points so far. Christofori. They're working really hard to keep Minakazi from getting the ball. Number 23 is shadowing her everywhere. Agnelli to Christofori. Magnagalli is the drive to the hoop and it's no good. She's fouled before she lets the ball go to the hoop. Blocking foul, Belmont gets the ball out of bounds. Manganelli putting it in play. Out to Martin in the corner. Manakazi drives left, comes out. Back out to Magnagalli, a oh, three-point attempt, no good. Rebound, to, and it's thrown out of bounds in the attempt by uh, number 22, Kel Corse, to get the ball back to a teammate and then mistakenly threw it out of bounds. Belmont ball, Magnagalli, Magnanelli, <laughs> Manganelli. Oh, pass it to Emma Donahue coming in. Balls ahead to Martin, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Winchester. Nice cut to the hoop, almost a travel, not quite. Donahue puts it up, no good. Once again, that difficult pass for uh, Manganelli to handle. It was down by her feet. Mr. drives to the hoop, no oh, good. Follow up is good by Manikazi. Manikazi is uh, quick to uh, take the hustle in and get those rebounds. Long shot, no good. Rebound is by Martin. Brings it up the left side, passes it to Manikazi. Manganelli in the corner. Emma. Donahue puts it up, no good. And she got hit on the arms. Martin puts up a three-pointer, in and out of the hoop. Rebound by Donahue. Back in the corner to Minakazi. And we have a foul on number 34 of Winchester, which is McGurl. Well, McGurl's first personal, and it's five team fouls on Winchester. Belmont substitutions uh, include Mara Dilligan up put, put up by Man, you know by Minakazi and Belmont now leads 18 to six. Minakazi is not going to allow anybody to get down the court. Plays excellent defense as I've mentioned before. The double team by Belmont. Drive to the hoop is up and no good. Rebound by and Winchester does not get another shot off. So we end up the first period 18 to six Belmont leading. I would say that uh, Christofori and Manganelli have uh, dominated the offense, although McDevitt had a couple of nice hoops as well. 
So we're just starting the uh, season, as I mentioned at the uh, outset. Belmont is one and one. Uh, they lost to Lexington at Lexington, although it's a game they might have won, but they uh, had, I think, 15 more shots than Lexington, but they did not shoot as high a percentage as Lexington. Uh, Maya Bergdorf uh, went to private school this year. She was a, uh, a very good ball player and left Belmont High School to go to private school. So the Belmont team lost a lot of really good talented players from last year's team, but uh, they still have a substantial number of returning players who, uh, I must say, in watching the first game on videotape, uh, Belmont looked a little bit uh, uh, like they were a little tight. But uh, all of these girls have had experience in the Belmont Youth Basketball Association, so it's just a matter of uh, dealing with the speed. I've been told that the uh, move from JV to uh, varsity for most players is a difference of maybe like uh, a factor of uh, five faster than they, they than in uh, when they're playing uh, in, in JV. And an attempt by McDevitt to pass the ball in the corner to uh, number 25, Jorgensen. Number 10 is Dulligan, and we have a loose ball. It's picked up, and a jump ball. <laughs> Black ball. Wagner got her hair caught up in the uh, jump ball. Anyway, it's wet just as ball, and it attempt underneath, thrown back out. A three-point attempt is no good. Rebound by McDevitt, and now we have another jump ball with Donegan tying up the ball for Belmont, and they will get the ball out of bounds. Jorgensen into Donegan. I believe that's how she pronounces the name because although it begins with a D, it's spelled much like Mulligan. And a McDivitt up and makes a nice hook shot on with her left hand, with her right hand. Used the backboard well. Belmont is up 20 to six. Drive to the hoop. Foul is passed and picked off by Donegan. Donegan goes up the left-hand side. Throws it into McDevitt. McDevitt. <clears throat> we have a foul on number 22. Foul on Winchester number 22, Carmen Kelcourt. First That's the sixth personal foul on Winchester. Winchester Belmont will be shooting the, on the next foul by Winchester. McDevitt holds it up high. Good job. Goes back into Manikazi. No good. Rebound by Donegan. Donegan, this ball is stolen. Donegan finally picks it up. Back to Manikazi. Manikazi is fouled. Oh, no, they called her for a travel. Number 44, Isabella Ryan, back in for the Sachems. 44, Ryan returns to the court for the Sachems. Have to drive at the hoop. Cut off. Then again. Rebound by Manakazi, and she immediately is tied up by number 23 for the Sachems, which is uh, Gogolin. Winchester puts the ball into play, into the corner, a big three-point attempt. Rebound is by Manikazi. Looks ahead to Sam Jorgensen, puts it up, no good. Rebound is put up, no good. Rebound is put up again. 
by number 15, Wagner. Good job by Addy Wagner. Stayed with it. Jorgensen. Wagner is going to be called for a blocking foul. It's only Belmont's second foul, so it will not be a shooting foul. Winchester will get the ball underneath the hoop. And Gogolin will put it in play for the Winchester Sachems. Two team fouls. Checking back in for the Marauders, Kiki Christofori. Christofori comes in and replaces. Uh, good play. Uh, Chaccio scored that hoop. Christofori replaced uh, <clears throat> Metacazzi. Is now running the show. Drives to the hoop. Puts the ball up and in on the right-hand side. Mr. Forey. I believe that's probably her, maybe her eighth point. Don't have an official score here. We'll get those stats for you at the halftime. Three-point attempt is missed. Knocked into bounds to, to Jorgensen. Throws it ahead to McDevitt. McDevitt goes in to shoot, and she's fouled by number 24. Chaccio. Foul Winchester number 24. That's Alba Chaccio, her first personal foul. Two shots. Emma McDevitt at the Belmont's line for two. Emma McDevitt. First one is no good. Come on, substitutions. Number 13, Morgan Height. And for Winchester, number 10. Morgan Sassy Height checks in force. for uh, the Marauders. She had twin sisters that played on the Marauders team two years ago. McDevitt misses the second. Three-point attempt is no good. Rebound, it's bounced this around, picked up McDevitt, and then stolen back away, and McDevitt put her arms around number 13. Well, on Belmont number 42, Emma McDevitt. It's Belmont's first third first foul, foul, so Three they, they have five up on the board, but I believe it's only their third team foul. And Attempt to pass it in is broken up by Andy Wagner and Christofori. Ball is outside to number 10. Good, good, good attempt at blocking the shot. Rebound goes out of bounds and it is off the Winchester. Number 13. Dignan. Christopher lost the ball, passes it to Reese Chapad. Broken, driving away, and Belmont stops the pass, but it's put up and in by number 10. Go course, one of two sisters on the Winchester team. Shapazian with the ball out front, just hands it off to Christofori. Three point attempt is no good. Rebound by Winchester. Attempt to tie it up. And the ball is finally moved along the right sideline by Winchester. And she loses the ball out of bounds. Number 44 for Winchester. Uh, slowly learning the girl's name. She's Ryan. Winchester, number 34, Brooke McGurl back in. For Belmont, number 22. That's Jacqueline Ryan.
Mustaforio front drives to the hoop, gives it up to Ryan. Height gives it to Chapazian. Chapazian has a brother playing on the battle at Vasity, and she's fouled as she goes up for a shot by number 24. Winchester number 24, Ch Chachio. Chachio. Her second personal ball, 18 fouls. The line for Belmont. Shapazian will get. Shapazian. Shapazian will get two shots. First one up and no good. Winchester substitution, number 14, Mia Day. One shot remains. Therese Shapazian. it up, it's good. So Belmont now leads 25-10. And we have uh, 242 to go in the first half. Belmont's played very good defense. Stayed right between their players and the basket. Good movement of their feet. That time she. <clears throat> Addie Wagner got too close to the player rather than backing off, and the Winchester oh, players. Number 22, that's Jacqueline Ryan. Her first personal foul. Four team fouls. Foul was on Ryan. Winchester shooting two shots. Reagan Pagan. Twenty-five, eleven, Belmont. They're up by fourteen. Second shot is good by Ryan, so she bags two. Christophori bringing the ball up, being chased by number forty-four into the corner to num and the ball is rebounded by Christophori. Chapazin hits a three-pointer. Belmont is now up 28-12. The Belmont team is not afraid to shoot three-pointers. Oh, good try by Addie Wagner, but she's called for pushing. Belmont, Belmont number 15, Addie Wagner, her second personal foul. Five team fouls. We have a substitution for Belmont. Number 21, Abby Morin. Abby Morin's in the game. And attempt is no good. Christopher Rory got the rebound, and she's immediately fouled by number 14, Day. Well, in Winchester, number 14, that's Mia Day. That's her second personal foul. Day's second foul, but Belmont will be shooting one and one. For Belmont shooting one and one. Kiki Christofori. Kiki makes, if she makes the first, she gets the second. And she missed it. A rebound by <clears throat> Winchester. Good defense getting back. Ball is underneath. Almost intercepted by Morin. Ball goes up. Number 14 falls and it's picked up by, and it's ahead to Chapazian. Chapazian drives to the hoop and she is fouled. Vaughn Winchester's number 41. That's Reagan Pagan, her second personal. <laughs> Apparently they thought Reese uh, Chapazian was in the act of shooting, so she uh, gets two shots. And we have a substitute for Winchester. Twenty-three Gogolin is back in the ball game. Manganelli is back in replacing Christofori for the Marauders. Vision puts up the first. Swish. Now we have Winchester bringing the ball down. Passed underneath, and we got a foul on number 33 for Belmont. 
Well, on Belmont number 33, that's Meredith Christo. Meredith Christo. She was on the roster, but she didn't have a number until just now. <laughs> Belmont just simply is not giving him any three-point shots. So we've got a rebound put back up by number 34 for the girl. Abby Moran comes up court on the right side. Tricky dribbles, drives to the hoop, puts it up, and no good. Winchester is very deliberate. The ball was knocked free by Morin, but picked up. Turn around, and we have a traveling call on number 14, Day. Belmont's ball under the Winchester basket. They lead 30 to 14. That's the Man Manganelli. Manganelli puts it ahead to Sebastian. Sebastian brings it up to the center court, drives to the hoop, and she is fouled in the act of shooting and will get two foul shots. 23.1 seconds to go in the first half. Belmont up 30 to 14. Two shots. Reese Shapazian. Shapazian gets two shots. Ball bounces around and unfortunately does not go in, but she'll get the second the shot. Number 11, Mari Dooley. Shapazian puts up the second one. No good, around and out. And Shapazian steals the ball, and she apparently stepped out of bounds. Good hustle by Shapazian, but her momentum carried her out of bounds. Good play, Mari Moran, backing off. She's not going to shoot from half court. Drive to the hoop, and we have a foul on probably number 33 for Belmont. Belmont number 33, that's Meredith Christo, her second personal. Meredith Christo committed the foul. And shooting. Mia Day at the line. Mia Day is at the line shooting two foul shots. This is the first. Winchester substitution. Number 13, Katie Degnan. Katie Degnan returns to the ball game for the Winchester Sachems. Foul shot is no good. The rebound is up, no good, and the end of the period as Belmont leaves the court, uh, leading 30 to 14 at halftime. And what has been a uh, well played game by Belmont. Anyway, back to the ball game. I uh, took a look at the score book, and uh, Kiki Castafori is leading with six points, but we have. Two other players with, I'm sorry, with eight points, but we have Minicozzi with six points and Chapazian with six points, and they're the leading scorers uh, for Belmont. I started to say, if you're interested in being a part of the sports broadcast at uh, the Belmont Media Center, uh, you want to talk to Jeremy Reserve, who is uh, on the camera tonight and the producer of these programs. He also produces uh, other school events. So get in touch with Jeremy at the Belmont Media Center. You can call him on the phone or you can reach him through email. Go to belmontmedia.org and you will find a way of getting in touch with Jeremy. You can always use help, and it'll be good training for you later in your high school and collegiate careers. Out in the corner to Martin, who puts up a three-pointer and then makes it. Al Martin now leads 33 to 14. And we had a double dribble by 
number 44 of Winchester. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a very good setup here yet because we're in the, in the stands because of the construction going on at the high school. And Christophori, good defense, and she's fouled by number 14, who I believe is Day, but if I recall from, Winchester, number yeah. 14, Mia Day, her third personal foul. First turn. Martin first will put the ball in play. Gets it to Christofori. Christofori driving on the center of the court, being guarded by number 141, Pagan. Underneath, back outside to Morin. Morin out with a three, no good. Rebound is by McDevitt, who puts it up, no good. I think she was bumped on that shot, but they didn't call it. And now we have an attempt to drive to the hoop and a foul on Morin, which is her third foul, I believe. Winchester substitution, number 32, Nathalia Sackforis. Hmm. Belmont foul, number 21, it's Abby Morin, her first personal foul. I'm sorry, first it's her first personal. Foul. Rebound is by Martin up ahead to Minakazi. Minakazi. It's it over to Christofori who puts up a long three. No good. Rebound is bounced around and goes out of bound off of Winchester of Belmont ball under their own basket. Morin's going to put the ball in play for the Marauders. And of course he comes around, gets the ball, throws it underneath to McDevitt. McDevitt puts up a hook, no good. Rebound, tie up by Menacosi, and it will be Winchester's ball. Oops, we have a foul on Belmont. I believe it's Belmont on, on McDevitt. It's Emma McDevitt, her second personal foul, two team outs, two team fouls, timeout, Winchester. Okay, I was trying to figure out what was happening over there at the scorer's table with uh, number 20 uh, for Belmont, who is Emma Donahue. Uh, I think she was being told to report in and replace Emma. <coughs> uh, McDevitt. So, I guess Belmont called the timeout. Manchester is back on the court. So we have Martin, Morin, Christofori, Menacazi, and number 20, um, Emma Donahue. Oop, fouls on a region foul by Abby Morin. Or a second. Second personal foul on Morin. Three team fouls. Three, three team fouls on Belmont. Winchester throws it in underneath. Drive to the hoop. No, picked off by Minicozzi. Minicozzi goes down the court, puts it up left handed, and scores. Nina Minicozzi. Belmont up 35 14. Playing a trapping defense. The 2 3 intercepted by Morin ahead to Minicosi. Minicosi into the hoop. Two more. And a timeout Time by Winchester. Winchester as their zone defense of 2 3 Z defense has befuddled Winchester, who has twice passed the ball directly to Belmont players. I was going to take a look at the scoreboard here uh, for the Winchester team, but I uh, 
took a picture with my cell phone, and unfortunately, the picture's jumping all over the place. <laughs> I'll try to get you the uh, scoring for Winchester in the first half. They seem to keep coming up with only the Belmont half of the scorebook. Sorry about that. Did something wrong. Well, suffice it to say, nobody on that team has scored any large number of points since they only have 14 points in total. Well, intercepted again, this time by Emma Donahue. Moran brings the ball up court. Keeps driving to the hoop and she is fouled. Takes a spill on the floor, but doesn't believe to be hurt. And we'll go to the foul That's line Reagan, for Pagan. two shots. The, the foul was on Pagan. Two team fouls. Two shots for Belmont's Abby Moran. Moran makes the first. As I mentioned earlier, because of the construction here at Belmont High School is they're building the new high school wing. Uh, there have been a number of changes in the building, including last year's stands. Uh, on the second level have been eliminated and replaced by the weight room. So we're not on top of the second balcony where we've been in the past. We're in the stands, and as a result, uh, things are not that easy to deal with. But we'll be bringing you the games however we can, given the construction constraints. One of the things we're looking for is an on-floor cameraman. Rebound by Dama Donahue, and there is a foul, I believe, White ball gets it out. The foul was on somebody on number 32. Number 32 for Winchester. The first personal foul. Three team fouls. First four, he bounced it into Donahue, but picked off and a travel by Winchester. Gets the ball back to Belmont. Morin with a three-pointer, no good. Morin tries to pick it up. It's grabbed by Minicosi. He gets it out, and she's called for traveling because she rolled over with holding the ball. So Winchester gets the ball back. Belmont's gone back to their man-to-man -man defense. I, oh, no, I think they've gone to a 1-2-2 defense. And the ball is stolen away. Martin gets it to Morin. Morin brings it up court. Down underneath the Emma Donahue puts it up, and the ball is blocked and, and out of bounds. Off Winchester. Martin will put the ball into play. Gets it into Cristofori. Cristofori around to Minakazi. Minakazi drives to the hoop. Goes to put it up, and she's fouled by number 10, I believe. Two shots. Winchester foul number 32, Natalia Sakaforas, her second personal foul. Four team fouls. Dina Minakazi at the line. Minakazi makes the first. Count the first one. One shot remains for Belmont's Nina. Nina's brother plays on the Varsity boys team. Belmont substitution, number two, Sarah Manganelli. Last year, Belmont girls played a game at Newton and the boys played a game in, um, I think it was at Cathedral High School. Nina went 10 for 10 from the foul line and her brother 15 for 15 from the foul line in the same night. Good shot by number 13. 
Martin brings the ball. Degnan scored that last hoop. And of course he passes it off to Donahue who makes the hoop. Emma Donahue. And we had a foul somewhere here. And Menacosi. Foul on Winchester number 23, Colleen Gogolin, her second personal foul. I didn't see the foul, so, but the Winchester team uh, player seems to, whoops, good play to, uh, a nice play, good cut to the hoop, a good pass off Nina the center. Minikasi. Good ball movement by Belmont on that play. They're up 44 to 16. Turn around. Shot, no good, a rebound by number 10. Katie Dignan. Katie Dignan. She stools the ball, inbound pass and makes another one. Sissy Kelkos. Renacazi brings the ball up court. And to Donahue, Donahue traveled. Shuffled her feet before she put the ball on the court. I think number Emma Donahue is uh, Sarah, Donahue. possibly a, uh, trying to look up here where, let's see, where is she? Dun, uh, Emma McDevitt and Emma Donahue, she's a senior. I thought she was an underclassman. She graduates in June. Winchester has taken some control of their own offensive basket in the last two times down the court. Abby Wagner is coming in to replace Donahue, who has played very well. I now recall the situation. Emma Donahue was a basketball player and played other sports during the uh, sophomore and junior years at Belmont High School and then came back out for basketball and has made a pretty good name for herself early in the season here, having been away from basketball for a couple of years. Trapezian with the ball into Donegan. Trapezian thought about a three. And Ganelli with the ball. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Gets it into Abby Wagner. Abby Wagner drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Martin, no good. Rebound by Winchester. Foul is on Wagner. And number 11, Murray Foul Dooley. Number 15, Addie Wagner. Third personal foul. Dooley will be getting Five two shots. Fouls. The line for Winchester, Mara Dooley. Puts up the first one, no good. During the fall season, I vol followed the volleyball team and Winchester had a very good girls volleyball team and I thought it might carry over to the basketball team, but I don't see any of the players that played volleyball uh, on, the, on the team. There may be some, but they had two very good basketball players, uh, volleyball players. Chapazian, tricky dribbles her way out and gets it to Martin who heads up court. Back to Shabazian. Shabazian dribbles around, drives to the hoop in the corner to Martin. Martin puts up a three. Uh, her foot was on the line. She only got two points. 46 to 20, Belmont. Shabazian almost stole it. And a drive to the hoop by Day, I believe. No, Kalkos. 
Cecilia Calcos, oh, Calcose. Cecilia misses, Calcos misses the first, and we have a substitute and Sam Jogerson coming into the game, replacing <clears throat> Martin. Second shot is good by Calcos. Reese Trepasian brings it up center court. It's being chased. She drives the hoop, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Donahue. I'm sorry, by Abby Wagner. And a tie up, and it will be Winchester's ball on change of possession. Of course, gives it off to number 23 and uh, a three pointer by Gogolin. Three Shapazian driving to her left, being chased by Kelkos. It was Colleen Gogolin on that shot. Manganelli handling the ball over to Donegan. Donegan to Manganelli for a three, no good. Rebound, nice free follow. Attempt by Donegan, no good. Ball goes out of bounds off of Winchester. Manganelli will be putting the ball into play for Belmont. Number 44, Isabella Ryan. Number, number 41, Reagan Pagan. Abby Wagner with the ball. Gets it out to Dunnigan, back under the Wagner. Wagner drives to the left, puts it up, and it's good. Good play by Abby Wagner. Belmont now leads 49-23. Drive to the hoop, and is a foul on Manganelli. Sarah Manganelli, her first personal foul. Sarah's first foul. Two shots for Winchester's Reagan Pagan. Pagan at the line for two shots, fouled in the act of shooting. Makes the first one. It's the second shot. Makes that as well. Good foul shooting. Reese Shapesian throws it down court. Knowing that time was about running out, a 75-foot uh, shot. And we're now going to the fourth period with Belmont in a very comfortable 49 to 25 position. We'll be coming into the uh, break of the school year for the Christmas, New Year's, and other holidays at this time of year. By the way, in the first game was a JV game. The uh, JVs defeated Winchester, and I believe that was uh, 37 to 31 was the final score. The temperature's not any too high in here tonight. <laughs> they got the fans going up top, but it, uh, I think the heat is uh, maybe not on. I don't know. They, they could shut the fans off, I think. I think they're blowing the cold air down on us. But it's not as cold as the hockey rink. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy is nodding yes because he uh, has broadcast a few of uh, and televised a few games from the Belmont hockey rink, which has no heating system. And given the weather we've had the last few days, it must have been pretty cold over there uh, for the game they played last night. But the Belmont Media Center will be doing some hockey games. It's 
They're trying to correct the uh, school board, and Belmont is leading 180 to 25. <laughs> I believe the school was 49 to 25, but currently says 147 to 25. So they're having trouble turning the one off. It looks like they have to count down. I don't know how it got pushed up that high. Got the eight minutes right. When Belmont returns to the floor, uh, we'll have Jorgensen, Manganelli, uh, Shapation, Dunnigan, and Wagner on the court for Belmont. With the score being what it is, uh, now we're up to 196. We're going backwards. I don't it might as well be that high. <laughs> anyway, the entire bench is getting a chance to play tonight, which is good for Belmont in the long run as the season goes on to have more experienced players on the on the team is helpful. We have uh, Martin and uh, Menakazi doing some hand drive on the bench. <laughs> I don't know if they're in the picture or not. <laughs> Uh, we get it 48-25. Don't touch it. Just, just somebody must have unplugged the scoreboard or something. Guess it doesn't like the number 49. When they go to 49, it must go to 149. Anyway, we have a delay here for the scoreboard. They're trying to correct it. I think it's pretty close to the accurate score. Yeah. 49? I thought it was 49 to 25, but maybe it's 48 plus one. <laughs> Don't know if it makes a big difference at this uh, time in the game unless Winchester has some secret way of scoring uh, a differential of uh, 23 points. Chapazian bringing the ball over half court. And we have timeout because the 32nd clock is not running. Should be uh, 23 seconds on the 32nd clock now. Okay, they've got that corrected. Belmont, Bishop Bajan with the ball again. Manganelli with the ball. Dunnigan into the corner. Now to Abby Wagner, bounces off for a D and goes out of bounds. Winchester has the ball and bringing it up. Chapazian looking for some good defense. Good try by number 13. Back out to number 41 who puts up a three, no good. Rebound is by <clears throat> Winchester. Winchester flips it over and back underneath and a good Good defense by Belmont, and the ball goes out of bounds. No, it stays in bounds, but number 23, I believe, got punched in the nose inadvertently. Winchester substitution, number 22, Carmen Kellogg. For which you get no foul shot, <laughs> unfortunately. And good play. Wagner gets the rebound, gets it to Shapazian. Shapazian, tricky dribbles up the court. 
and drives to the hoop and puts it up in the air and it's no good. Rebound by Shapation and she is fouled <clears throat> from behind. Somebody trying to steal the ball. And that's a non-shooting foul since there's only three team fouls. And Belmont a wholesale substitution. Kiki Christopher. Number 33, Meredith Christo. Number 13, Morgan Hayes. McDevitt back out. And number 22, Ryan. Number 22, Jacqueline Ryan. Jacqueline Ryan, who is a sophomore, wasn't ready for the pass and went through her hands and out of bounds. So it's Winchester ball. And as a kick by Kiki Cristofori, it'll be a new 30-second clock for Winchester. And the ball is grabbed by Cristofori. And they got caught being chased by number 44. Hate. Gives the ball into Cristo. Cristo drives to the hoop, gets it back. Tries to get it to <clears throat> McDevitt. McDevitt passed it to Christofori, who put up the left-hander, and unfortunately it did. And now we have a travel on number 22 for the Winchester Sachem, which is Kel Corsi, one of the uh, twin, twin sisters. I don't know if they're twins, so the, well, one's a freshman and one's a... Uh, Sophomore. Christofori with the ball at midcourt. Good pass underneath. Oh, good try by Christo to put it up, but blocked by Winchester. And we had a foul on number 22 for Belmont, which is Ryan, Jacqueline Ryan who is a sophomore. Belmont foul number 22, Jacqueline Ryan. Her second personal foul. In fact, Christo Dunnigan and Ryan are all sophomores. As is Nina Minicosi and Bridget Martin. <clears throat> Ball shot is good. Christopher gets the ball to Ryan. And the ball goes out of bounds. Belmont's ball. Morgan Haight is a junior. Picks up a three-pointer and no good. Rebound it is grabbed by Winchester. Ball's brought up court. Drive to the hoop. Bounces around and out. And the ball gets out of bounds off of Winchester. Ryan will put the ball in play for Christofori. Christofori gets the ball, dribbles between her legs. Comes up and she's being harassed by number 44. <laughs> I think the the score, the differential in the score is probably the reason there was no foul call there. <laughs> Belmont is up 48-27 uh, by 21 points. So they didn't get a blocking call on Winchester, which was clearly, I think, the case in the harassment of Christophori as she brought the ball up on the left-hand side. So Belmont, Coach Hart decided she wanted a timeout and probably is suggesting less dribbling and more passing. That's my guess. 
But we'll find out once they get back on the court. We have uh, just eight seconds beyond five minutes to go. And we will have a sophomore front court and a junior and senior back court. I'm sorry, Christ Kiki Cristofori is uh, also a sophomore. Winchester has the ball and passing it around the perimeter. Drive to the hoop, no good, but there's a foul on McDevitt for a push. I think that's. Dumbled, number 42, Emma McDevitt. Her third personal foul. It's her third foul. personal. Colleen Gogolin at the line. Carmen Kelkos made the first of two. And good hands makes the second. McDevitt gets the rebound. Gets it out to Ryan, now to Christofori. Christofori driving to the hoop. Gives it to Haight. Haight gives it underneath to Ryan, who puts it up and is fouled. And she will go to the foul line for two. Jacqueline Ryan misses the first. She'll get two. As I indicated earlier, she's a sophomore. I was just looking at the roster, and uh, Belmont Manganelli is a senior. Uh, Emma Donahue is a senior. Sam Jorgensen is a senior. Katie Reynolds is a senior. All the rest of the team are underclassmen, so that's good news for Belmont long term. A lot of experience being built up. And Madonahue grabs the rebound and is a hustle, hustle on the floor and finally a jump ball and it will be Winchester's ball. Drive to the hoop, and we have a foul on number 33, Cristo. Foul on Belmont number 33, Meredith Cristo, her third personal foul. Double bonus situation. Mia Day at the line, two shots. Mia Day at the line for two shots, misses the first. Puts up the second, bounces around, no good. Ball was tapped out of bounds by number 34 over the back of Christo. Christofori coming up and she, she's called being out of bounds. Again, I think she there was a blocking foul. Number 32, Natalia Sakaforis. Ball goes into Winchester, tapped out of bounds, and then off the hands of the Winchester player. The inbound pass was touched by Christofori and then bounced off a Winchester player. Christofori gets the ball and outpaces everyone down the court, passes it into Haight, who puts it up, and no good. Rebound is. Grabbed by Winchester, passed way ahead to number 14, and she 
is called for a foul on Emma Donahue, I think. No, it's I'm sorry, yep, Emma Donahue. Foul on number 20, Emma Donahue, her yeah, well. first personal foul. Double bonus situation. Be a day at the line, two shots. Mia Day puts up the first one. It bounces around, drops through. 49-29. Belmont's leading by 20. Makes the second. Belmont's lead cut to 19. Belmont's having trouble getting the ball up court. This time, Dunne Christofori comes down the middle. Bounces it off to Ryan, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Winchester, who tapped the ball in the pass out of bounds. Ryan putting the ball into play. Passes it into Christofori, who sneaks on in up, and Belmont now leads 51 to 30. Passed underneath, Christofori puts her hands up straight, but good play by number 14. And a pass ahead to Donahue. And a good shot and a basket by number 33, Christo. Meredith Christo. Assist to Christofori. Who looked up and saw her. Christo streaking down through the center court and got the ball to her and Christo went up for a layup and was fouled from behind by a Winchester player. Christo puts it up and it's good. Three point play by Christo. Rebound by Christo. Christofori again looking ahead, tries to get the ball, gives it off, and into the hoop by number 20, Donahue. Three point attempt is no good, and we have a foul on Haight, I believe. Mia Day makes the first one. Substitutions. Number 11 for Winchester, Mara Dooley. 25, Sam mm -hmm. Jorgensen for the Marauders. Sam Jorgensen replaces Haight. Rebound by Moore Christo. Christofori looking ahead, drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Is blocked by Winchester. And Mia Day with a turnaround. It's good. Stafori driving down to the left. Good cut through the lane by Ryan. Flipped ahead to. <clears throat> Christo, or no, Don, Emma Donahue, who mishandled the ball, and Wixington, I mean, <laughs> Winchester gets the ball. And we have a foul outside on number 22, Jacqueline Ryan. Foul on Belmont number 22, Jacqueline Ryan. Her third personal foul. Van Ganelli waiting to report into the game at the scorer's table. One shot remains for Winchester's Nathalia Sacrophorus. Sacrophorus no, missed the first, she gets two, a second. Good shot. Winchester substitution. Winchester pulls within 20. Belmont up 56-36 and we have 2.24 to go in the fourth period. Passed into Haight. Haight to Manganelli. Manganelli brings it up to the right. Looking for somebody to cut to the hoop. 
Dribbles, dribbles into the corner. Cut. Good cut to the hoop by and uh, 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 uh. jump ball. Belmont possession. Ryan will be putting the ball into play. Gets it into number number twenty. Emma Donahue. Good pass underneath and a foul on Manganelli. I could hear it from here as she slapped her on the arm. Foul on number two for Belmont, Sarah Manganelli, her second personal foul. Number 30, Ellison Hires, a senior. Will be shooting two shots for the Winchester Sachems. The first one up. Good. Winchester substitution. Number 23, Colleen Goblin checked back in. One shot remains for Allie Myers. Colleen has a good technique. Gets the ball on her shoulder. Gets a nice reverse spin and makes the second one. And Ganelli will bring the ball up. Christo underneath the height. Hate back to Christo. Christo attempts to drive to the hoop. Gets it back out to number 25, <clears throat> Sam Jorgensen. And we have a foul. Well, on Winchester number 10. Winchester and we'll be shooting one and one as that was the shooting one and one. Sam Jorgensen. Makes the first one. I only see three team fouls on Winchester, but they're apparently not updating the school board. Jorgensen missed the second one. Attempts to steal the ball from Day. Day comes down, and we now have a foul on number 33, Christo. Foul on number 33, Meredith Christo. Her fourth personal foul. Double bonus. Mia Day at the line. Two shots. They're clearly not are updating the scoreboard because they got uh, only four team fouls on Belmont but they are awarding her two free throws as a part of a, so Belmont has to have at least 10, 10 fouls. Head to Manganelli, Manganelli brings it down to the right side in the corner to Haight. Haight passes it in underneath, She's good fake, except she moved both feet and is called for travel. Emma Donahue. Good ball movement by Winchester. But the rebound goes out of bounds off of a Belmont, off of uh, number 25, <coughs> Jorgensen. And the ball is passed in and rolls down on the floor. Picked up and they lose control and cross the center line. And it'll be Belmont's ball. Jorgensen underneath, good passing. Manganelli gives it back to Ryan. Ryan puts it up, no good. Good rebound by Donahue, puts it up and good. I'm sorry, Meredith Christo. I thought it was Donahue. Didn't have a good vantage on the numbers. Good. <laughs> the, the referees are uh, kind of letting things go here because there was definitely a foul on Winchester.
and Donahue had the rebound. Manganelli now coming up court. Encounters some resistance, but drives to the hoop and is pushed by number 33. Higher. Ball in Winchester number 33, Allie Hires, her first personal foul. The line for Belmont, Sarah Manganelli. Sarah Manganelli has, oh, I see now. I was reading the scoreboard incorrectly. It's timeouts left rather than, <laughs> sorry about that. Both teams have 10 personal fouls, team fouls, and we're in the bonus situation. And that is the ball game, and Belmont wins 61-42. And it's been a good evening for Marauder basketball here at the high school. And we uh, make one more pitch, and that is if you have uh, any interest in helping with the broadcast, uh, please contact Jeremy Reserve at the Belmont Media Center, belmontmedia.org, and we'll see you soon for another game.